most of us are going to make just straight uh, coil pots on a flat surface. The Caddo has also made round bottom pots, and actually that is how Jerry taught me to start. I came to show bottom. and demonstrate and have a hands-on class about making traditional Caddo pottery. And otherwise keep your clay in the back. Outside in the wind, it dries out real fast. I explained how we would gather clay and process it to make it into a traditional uh, clay that we would use as caddos. If you let that lip dry out, what happens is you can't put the next coil on. And then uh, we did a hands-on where the students, the teachers, would make pots with the coil method. Oh, I saw that. That was on it. That was on it. Yeah, those classes are free. There we go. And then I explained some finishing methods. And then we also had a pit fire demonstration to show how they would cook those pots after they were finished and then engrave them and finish them up afterward. It's, you know, it's not a precise firing. It's nothing like a kiln. So, you, you know, as you saw, I had to get them out pretty quick before they start getting over. But you just kind of have to feel it out. It burns the moisture out of your lips if you're too close. These are uh, examples of caddo pots that, that, that I made, and they're made in the full traditional manners. And there's, there's, diff there's lots of different kinds of types of pottery. So for here, we got examples of a jar and a bowl and a little peas brush pot. Um, the utilitarian pieces uh, tend to be uh, a little bit more coarse, and they have a lot of incised designs on them that are carved out. And then our ceremonial pieces tend to be a lot more shiny. Uh, there's a lot of burnishing work that goes into it. Then they're engraved with their fine designs after firing. Our pottery tradition uh, kind of faded out around 1908 uh, with one of the last families building pottery. And Jerry Redcorn helped get the, the movement started again, helped you know, revive our pottery. And so I'm trying to help you know, continue that and push, you know, into the new and older technologies and try to continue on what she started. So, so we are kind of trying to pull it back and show people, uh, you know, this is what used to exist, you know, and that we haven't faded away. If you're interested in seeing more or learning more about Caddo Pottery, I have a website at caddopottery.com. Uh, or you can go to my Facebook page, it's just slash Caddo Pottery, and I put updates about shows and the new pots that I've built.